My name is Julia. I live in Venice, California. I'm married. We're having our 30th anniversary this year, and I have a 26-year-old son. I noticed a bruising on one of my breasts. I didn't feel a lump or anything. I went to the doctor. She sent me for a mammogram, and there was some suspicious-looking activity. And then I was sent for an ultrasound, an MRI, and it turned out that there was a 7-centimeter tumor in my breast. After that, they sent me for more tests. I had cancer in my bones. So I was diagnosed with de novo, which is right off the bat metastatic lobular breast cancer. To hear that you have breast cancer and then to hear that you have metastatic breast cancer that's treatable but incurable all at once, you kind of go through the five stages of grief, thinking about your family, your future. I mean, your mind is just all over the place. For the first five years, I was able to continue working. I felt pretty good. I had several surgeries. It started to become more difficult as I went through different treatments you know, with side effects, you know, not knowing how I feel. And then when COVID hit, it became really difficult. It really did affect my career and, and our finances. My son was in high school. Uh, he was old enough to, you know, know about breast cancer. But at that age, you know, and wanting him to maintain a normal sense of life and self and fun, um, you know, I kept certain things from him. They put me on an anti-estrogen drug, and that was to shrink the tumor. And then I had surgery. I kept having recurrences in my breast, so over the next six years, I had two more surgeries. I was able to have radiation, finally, and that was in 2019. I was on a clinical trial. Unfortunately, it didn't work for me. I was happy to contribute to science in my small way. I think clinical trial research is incredibly important because that's how they find drugs to work. Unfortunately, there are practically no clinical trials for lobular breast cancer specifically, and um, that's something that I am very adamant about advocating for. And we need new drugs to be approved all the time to stay alive. Many lobular patients don't qualify for clinical trials, so oftentimes people with bone metastasis and brain metastasis are excluded from trials. And I really believe that we need to be more inclusive and more diverse in age and ethnicity and subtype of cancer to include everybody. Currently, I'm on a drug called Capivacertib, and it has had some challenging side effects, um, which have been fairly severe. However, my scans were good. They showed reduction in some of the bone metastasis. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Uh, I have more energy than I've had in a while. So that's been great. I try to live normally as possible. You know, I try to live day to day. I do a lot of advocacy work. I know that I'm an outlier. I've been living with di this disease for 11 and a half years. I'm grateful, of course, I'm thankful. It's hard to wrap your head around the future. I've had so many friends that have passed away. The emotional toll that it takes is really hard. I can't stress enough the importance of funding for metastatic breast cancer and lobular breast cancer. Research and clinical trials save lives, and metastatic breast cancer kills.